Measuring correctly is very important when it comes to cooking because it will affect the way your product turns out. If you want your product to turn out the way it's supposed to, then you must measure correctly. These are the three measuring tools we use to measure ingredients. Measuring cups, measuring spoons, and liquid measuring cups. Dry measuring cups are used to measure dry ingredients, like flour and sugar. We use a liquid measuring cup to measure liquid ingredients, things such as milk, water, and oil. If we need less than a fourth a cup of a liquid or a dry ingredient, then we use measuring spoons. Measuring flour wrong is one of the most common mistakes made in the kitchen. To correctly measure flour, you don't want to just scoop the cup in and get a big thing of flour. First, fluff the flour with a spoon. Then, spoon the flour into the measuring cup. Do not pack it down. If you pack the flour, you will get way more than the recipe calls for. Make sure you fill the flour so that it is overflowing in the measuring cup. Then take a butter knife and use the flat edge to level off the flour. When measuring sugar, we can just scoop and level it off. Sugar doesn't have to be spooned in like flour. Once again, use a butter knife to level it off. Brown sugar is measured differently than plain white sugar. With brown sugar, you do want to pack it down. Scoop in the sugar and pack it down with a spoon really tightly. You can check to see if you did this correctly by dumping out the brown sugar and seeing if it holds its shape. If it falls apart, then you should remeasure. If you dump it out and it holds its shape, then you know you did it right. Just like that. When measuring using a liquid measuring cup, you want to put it on the counter so that it is level and you can make sure you pour the liquid to the correct line. Make sure to get down on eye level to check that the liquid is really at the correct line. When measuring using measuring spoons, for dry ingredients, simply just scoop and level it off. When measuring liquid ingredients with a measuring spoon, simply pour the liquid in until the spoon is full. But do not measure over the mixing bowl. It's way too easy to spill or overflow the spoon, and so you get more than you're supposed to.